Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. So we know that we are about to enter the days of Mashiach. How do we know this? Well we know this because first of all, we know that the latest time the Mashiach could come is in the year 6000. We are now in the year 5782. Tafshin Pei Base. Okay, so you could say, so we're in the year 5782. The year, uh, the year 6000 is still 218 years away. Well, we know, first of all, that we have to bring Shabbos in early. Just like Shabbos, we have to bring in Shabbos early, so too the days of Mashiach, the Messianic era, is compared to Shabbos. So we also have to bring in the Messianic era early. Okay, great, but we're still 218 years before that. Well, we know that actually the year 6000 is not just when we will enter the Messianic era. There are many different developments to the messianic era. The year 6000 is the end of the is the end of the beginning so to speak of the messianic era and it's the the entrance into the year 6000 which is the Yom Shekul Shabbos which is a new re level of revelation. That means that all the developments, all the different all the reality of the messianic era has to happen well before the year 6000. So how do we know that that's going to be very soon? Well, now we have another proof, and this is that the Rebbe himself, the Lubavitch Rebbe, tells us, he told us over 30 years ago, actually, that we are living in the days, the, the era of Mashiach. We're living in the last generation of exile and the first generation of Mashiach. How long is a generation? Well, all these details will are, are, are we have to, first we have to understand, we have to go into these are things we have to talk about, things we have to think about. But if the Rebbe said we are at the footsteps of Mashiach, we're in the last generation of exile, the first generation of Mashiach, that means the people that are alive in this generation will be alive for the redemption. We have to realize that this was said over 30 years ago. So imagine how much closer we are now. We're unimaginably close. Over 30 years ago, we're told we're already in the generation that will, that will witness the days of Mashiach, that will live Mashiach. Here's another important concept that we have to understand, and this is that as great as well as great as the Mashiach is, as great as the Mashiach is, it is the nation, it is the people that have to bring him. The Mashiach can't bring himself. He can't decide to just bring the, the just reveal himself and, and be Mashiach. He needs the people to earn it. He needs the people to deserve it. Why? Because we know that every generation has a Mashiach. Since Moshe Rabbeinu, and since David and Melech, Mashiach is like Moses, he's like King David. He's the King David of the generation, he's the Moses of the generation. What does this mean? Well, every generation has a Moses figure. And we learn that, what does it mean that, that, that there's a servant in, that Moses was the, was a, was a, was the ambassador of God it means that every generation there's an ambassador of God, a person who is at such a high level that he allows the other people to connect to Hashem. He brings out the potential in others. That is what the Mashiach will be: a person who brings out the potential in others. So the others have to want Mashiach to take hold of them. They have to want Mashiach to. They have to want to learn from Mashiach. They have to be humble before Mashiach. Because Mashiach is, is the most humble, so he won't force himself upon anyone. But he'll want to he'll want to bring out the potential in others, but he'll need them to do their part. So we have to understand this concept deeper. W what does this mean? Well, why do we need Mashiach? Why do why do why can we all just connect with God? Why do we need a person to help us connect to God? Why does the Mashiach have to teach us? Well, the answer is we all can connect to God directly. We all have a relationship with God. We don't need to connect to a person to connect to God. We can all connect to God directly. However, when we humble, when we learn from Mashiach, it allows us to connect to God at a greater level than we'd be able to connect to Him on our own. What does this mean? Hashem created the world in a certain way. Hashem created the world in a way where other people have to teach Torah to others. 
Hashem is in a state of hiddenness, so to speak, within the world. And through learning Torah and doing mitzvahs and doing good deeds and meditation and, and prayer and all these godly activities and loving our fellow and being a good person, through all these beautiful activities, we can uncover God within the world. We can reveal God. We can experience God and bring Him out of hiddenness and into revelation. And it's done through Torah. But Hashem made it so that Torah is taught by human beings to other human beings. A parent teaches their kid Torah. So, we have to understand that Mashiach, Moses, King David, these are the peak humans. These are the people who have the greatest awareness of Hashem. So they can teach Torah to others at the highest level. Therefore, when we learn from them, it brings out within us a greater awareness of God. So it's not that we need them we need to connect to God through them. No, it's that they teach us how to connect to God in a better way. They take us with them to God. They are the closest to God. So they can give us the best advice to bring us closer as well. And Hashem uses them to connect to us. We have to understand that the world is completely under Hashem's reign. Nothing has control over God, but rather Hashem has control over everyone and everything. Therefore, when a person is teaching you Torah, it's not that this person is teaching and you need them to connect to God. No, Hashem is using them to connect to you. Hashem is using them as a, as a tool, as a, as a vessel to connect to you. Hashem is revealing Himself to you through them. Therefore, we have to appreciate the idea that the Mashiach is in fact ready to come. However, we need to earn it. We have to deserve it. And this is, goes back to the concept that in every generation there's a Mashiach. And if in that generation the people earn it, then the Mashiach will come and they will. this person will become Mashiach and the world will enter the state of Mashiach. Because there's the person Mashiach and then there's the era Mashiach, the Messianic era, the redemption, the Geula. To understand this, a person has to believe in themselves, has to realize that we all have our Mashiach of our own situation. We all have a spark of Mashiach. The Mashiach, we are all a part of this mission where as great as Mashiach is, he can't do your job because Hashem wants you to do it. Why? Because you are perfect for your situation. Hashem needs you. And Hashem could have created everyone as Mashiach, but that's not what Hashem wants. Hashem, as great as Mashiach is, could be what you're doing in your specific situation. You overcoming your challenge is greater in Hashem's eyes than even the Mashiach teaching the deeper secrets of Torah. Because it's all relevant to you, your level, where you're at. It could be that a little simple Jew does this little simple good deed. But Hashem's eyes, in Hashem's eyes, that was the most precious deed of all time. Infinitely higher than anything else. So it's easy in a sense to believe in God. But it's harder to believe in ourselves sometimes. We have, just like we have to believe in God, we also have to believe in ourselves and realize that we have the light of God within us. We have the power to bring the Mashiach. We just need to believe in ourselves. And because Hashem surely does. When we believe in ourselves, we'll realize that that one extra deed that we do can be enough to ignite the sparks of redemption. May Hashem bless you all. May we experience it today. Please share this message.